So I'm going to be taking a ride up on one of these extra 300s with an instructor, and he's going to show me some cool aerobatic moves. So I've been looking forward to this for some time. All right, so uh, next up, we'll just try a couple of aileron rolls. So All right. Bit of a slow roll there. Uh, yeah, rolls crisp enough. You don't even have to do like uh, you know a lot of up and down elevator if you don't want to. Okay. In fact, if you want to go pretty fast, you'd happy to oblige and pull. Full roll, she rolls 420 degrees per second. Hi, I'm Brian. I fly private jets for a living. I'm also a film nerd and a skit writer. If you like aviation, comedy, and fun adventures, then follow along with me and my friends in a series that I like to call... Always doing this kind of stuff. Always running late. What's up everybody? I'm back in Las Vegas. This marks my third time flying on JetSuite X and I gotta say, it gets better every time. But you know, the primary purpose of this video is not just about JetSuite X and my third time flying on them. It's actually more about um, just me getting away from home for a little while and enjoying a few things out here in Vegas. Right now I'm sitting by one of the prayer statues. Um, reminds me of Thailand. So I wanted to come over here and uh, film this portion right here. I don't know, there's just something about it. it just feels feels good sitting here. This video is primarily for a company called Sky Combat 8, which uh, some of you may have heard of. They're a company based very close by in uh, Henderson, Nevada. They specialize in combat training and stunt performance flying, and uh, pretty much anything sport related to uh, when it comes to flying. They own a lot of uh, extra 300s, which is a very well-built aerobatic plane, I feel. It's a plane that can handle up to 10 G-forces, which is pretty intense. Even the F-16 can barely do that, which is a military fighter jet. So I'm gonna be taking a ride up on one of these extra 300s with an instructor, and he's gonna show me some cool aerobatic moves. So I've been looking forward to this for some time. I actually got to fly in a Stearman um, not too long ago uh, with a good friend of mine out in Torrance Airport in California. So that was a fun experience. So I wanted the thrill of something more intense, more fast, I, I think I found a good spot. So I'm gonna fly with them, I'm gonna give my review, and um, just tell you what I think about it. But first, I am standing outside of Hell's Kitchen and I'm about to go have breakfast. All right, first time at Hale's Kitchen, down. Food, amazing. Experience, lovely. Venue, beautiful. All right, so that's my opinion on that. Of course, I expected no less. It's Hale's Kitchen after all. Well, time for me to go on my flight pretty soon, and I hope I don't lose what I just ate. Transmitter 2902. 
Canopy down on the lock, flight control is free and correct. Bill's on the proper tank. There's the instruments in the green. Straps look good back here. You ready to go? I'm ready. Cool, let's do a quick uh, run up at the end, I'll be ready. Okay. So, probably a little better visibility than the steerman, but still not very good, like most of the tailwheel, right? As far as acting, yeah. Yeah, once you're in the air, it's nice. The canopy, yeah. Cherokee 366, Charlie Alpha, Edison Tower, Mike Wright, traffic runway 17, right, report midfield, right, that one. Right, traffic for runway 17, uh, right, and we'll report uh, midfield. Six, Charlie Alpha. Alright, props mag, check good. Everything's in the green, we're ready. That is Tower East 1 on shore 17 right, ready for takeoff southeast. Ace 1 is in Tower, only 17 right, clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 17 right, Ace 1. Alright, here we go. Hey. Alright, so tailwheel, you got the stick all the way out, get you the uh, control on the ground. Newly add power, it's got quite a bit of left turning tendency, about 50 knots, get the tail up. At 85 knots to rotate. Oh, I like the accelerating ground effect. And we ride the elevator up. All right. You got the controls? All right, my controls. Uh, 90 knots is uh, VX. That's good. Uh, good speed to climb at. Okay. Head to southeast, correct? Yep. Okay. You don't even need a DG, you just know, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to go up to 4,500, we're right underneath the uh, Bravo shelf of five. Okay. And I'll set your cruise power since you don't have any of the instruments up front there. Altimeter bounces around a little bit in front there. I see. You just take a moving average. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. <laughs> Pretty nice view though, right? Excellent view. Yeah, beat the steering by far. <laughs> Alright, we can step it up a thousand feet to 55 now. And once we get to the other side of this ridge, we'll let the games begin. Okay. About another five miles will be uh, clear of the shelf and we can uh, climb it up to 6.5. So they got some pretty big solar projects over here. I see, yeah. All right, let's climb it up to 65. The elevation in this valley is about uh, 3,000 or so, so it's about 3,500 of altitude delta. All right. All right, I got the controls. Air control. Uh, that's a cruise power. A little clear and turn here. Now you've done the basics before, but you haven't done it in this plane, so uh, just start out with a strap check. Make sure you're in there nice and good. Okay. All right. You're not falling out. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Next up, we'll just try a couple of aileron rolls. Uh, All right. Bit of a slow roll there. Uh, yeah, the roll's crisp enough. You don't want to have to do like uh, you know a lot of up and down elevator if you don't want to. Okay. In fact, if you want to go pretty fast, you tap it to apply your full full roll to roll 420 degrees per second. So cool. <laughs> All right, you got the controls. Let's do an aileron roll. Left or right, your choice. All right, my controls. <laughs> Looks like a steerman, right? <laughs> All right, throw one to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, not bad, I got the control. Go, go, go. 
All right, so a barrel roll sounds easy, but it actually takes more finesse than most people realize. The barrel roll we're going to just pull back, if it knows about 30 degrees, roll is high, yep. and then we roll and pull. Roll and pull. Now you should end up inverted 90 degrees from where you started, which like so. And then you just keep rolling and pulling, and we'll end up going the same direction we began. All right, you see that mountain to right 90 degrees? That's what you're going to be pulling for. Right? You got the controls? Sorry, my control. Right. Straight back on the stick. Pull a little harder. There you go. Now roll and pull. Try to be inverted at that mount. More pull, more pull. Get a little more pull. There we go. Keep rolling, keep pulling. All right, not bad. I got the controls. Go control. All right, 140 knots is over the top airspeed from there. So this is a loop. About three and a half, four Gs. We can start out. As we're climbing, we're slowing down, so as we uh, get a little slower, don't pull quite as hard. This also makes the loop symmetrical. You don't need more right rudder at the top than you will at the bottom. And then as you pull, as you accelerate, we pull a little harder back to 4 Gs to finish her off. Okay. All right, you got the controls whenever you're ready. All right, I can go. A little more right rudder, just a bit. Yeah. Pulling. There you go. Good job floating her down. Good. Not bad at all, my friend. All right, thank you. So you've done this before. All right, I got the controls. Go, go, go. All right, let's go up for a hammerhead. Straight vertical. Look out your left wing. Notice we're going to make the wing perpendicular to the horizon. Go out throwing some rolls for fun. You can. Now about left pedal around 80 knots. That brings the nose over. Pop a little smoke. <laughs> and then I uh, neutralize everything on the down line. Get a little bit of air speed back. And then we pull back on the stick to the nearest horizon. I just done it, by the way. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, cool. You got the controls? My controls. All right, you got the hammerhead. Let's go straight vertical. All right. Remember to look off the wing so you know when you're vertical. All right, stop right there. All right, you're at 80 knots. Left pedal all the way down. Left foot. Left foot. Good job of the adverse yaw. All right, there you go. Neutralize everything. Neutralize the pedal. And back to the horizon. Ah, uh, Shabby, you're an air show pilot, brother. Wow. I got the controls. Got controls. All right, now we're going to go up for a tail slide. So same entry as the hammerhead. We're going up. Pick up your left or right wing, straight vertical, rolls if you feel like it. This time, I'm going to pull the power back to just above idle. We're going to pop a little bit of smoke, and we're going to fall backwards through our smoke. Woohoo! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Add some power. I'll take care of your power on the uh, tail fly. You worry about the maneuver, okay? Oh, okay. All right, you got the controls. Whenever you're ready, let's see a tail slide. All right, tail slide. Here we go. Looking good. All right, we'll pull your power back. A little too much rotation. Push forward some. There we go. Hold the stick, and we're down. Alright. Well, what we did on that one is we uh, pulled a little too far back. We over rotated time. That's I why we didn't fall straight back. I know it is. Yeah. Alright. I got a control. Got a control. Do another clearance turn here. Everything's in the green. Everything is good. Alright. You ready to try the coolest maneuver in an airplane? Alright, let's do it. Call it a tumble or a lump shavak. We're going to do some an outside snap roll and then a flip her around, okay? Okay. All right, first we got to get a little bit of smash. I like starting at about 160 knots. There's 140, 150, 160. Pull straight back and stick about 40 degrees up. Go to the knife edge. Pull it, brother. Fourth. Wild, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, do a little clan turn. So that's called a tumble. I'll just let you do that one. Yeah, the, these two, the, the, these are pretty advanced. I'm going to demo a spin, but if you want to try one of those, you, you probably done uh, a few spins, obviously. Is, are you sit by? Have you done some spins before? Uh, yeah, just one. Okay. I'll show you kind of inverted flight accelerated spin. Does that sound good? Yep. All right, and here we go. About 130, 140, going on a vertical line. Look at the wing tip. Let's do some uh, torque rolls all the way up. Let's do a little knife edge spin up. Flip it over on its back. Now, opposite rudder. 
Ford stick, inverted flat, accelerated spin to the outside. Taylor run, power back at idle, rudder up the direction, and we pull back. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. That's, that's yeah. the last of the uh, uh, scripted maneuvers. Land five, temperature four two, two point one. Altimeter two nine or nine or two. Check against the altitude. Visual approach in use from ways one seven. Advise or contact QF Papa. Papa. Alright, I'll let you take your in. Uh so you want a steeper than normal glide path with this because you'll lose the runway at the end if you don't. So you want like a three and a half, four degree glide path. You really want to put the front of the runway uh, at the at the base of the cowling. We'll get you on a good uh, glide slope. And pre-landing checklist is complete. Boost bump on. Extra rich. Drop coming in. Hey, start your turn. I usually do my final turn. It's kind of a continuous final turn between 110 and 120, and then final approach speed is 90 knots. Do you want us on the right or left? I didn't hear. I uh, keep turning. Hey, Tower East One, did you want us on the right or left? East One, runway one turn right, clear land. Clear land, what's up, right, East One? There you go. All right, power back, start slowing her down all the way to idle. Don't take the flare. Three point landing, you want to do a normal flare. You want the tail, just keep the power back. Okay. Yep, and just bleed it off here. Alright. Make sure your feet are off the brakes, the toes are on the pedals. Yeah. Bleed it off a little more. That'll pedal down. Yeah, I'll stick all the way up. Okay. Alright, I got the controls. Good job. Controls. Thanks. Woo! I love all you, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, you survived, my friend. That was so cool. Nice work. Thank you. Definitely going to come out and do this again. <laughs> awesome. Dogfighting is a lot of fun, too. If you ever have a buddy out that you want to shoot down, that's, uh, <laughs> that's about the most fun you have your clothes on. <laughs>